Last fall was uh, for five years the ambassador of France to the United Nations. Very distinguished diplomatic career, including service as ambassador to Israel. Ambassador. Ever. First, I should say twice thank you. First, thank you to you to invited me. I think it's very moving. It's an honor for me. And, and secondly, I should say thank you to all the American people who have shown an incredible compassion uh, for what happened in Paris. From uh, the highest level of the administration, from President Obama, who came to the French Embassy, to the American in the street, we have been overwhelmed by the grief, the solidarity which has been shown uh, by uh, the Americans. We have received thousands of messages in the embassy. It's very moving. You Americans, you are really a compassionate people. Allow me first maybe to be personal. Uh, I have been posted twice in Israel. Israel was my first diplomatic posting and was my first ambassadorship. So, I think that for me, personally, I can say that I'm devastated. I am ashamed that French Jewish, that my French Jewish compatriots could be obliged to leave my country, their country, our country, because they are afraid. As my Prime Minister has just said, it would be a moral failure if France was not able to protect the Jews of France. France without the Jews of France wouldn't be France. <clears throat> and, you know, he has just made a very eloquent speech in front of the French Parliament this afternoon. Words are not enough. Actually, we have been aware for now nearly a decade we have been aware of the rise of a new type of anti-Semitism. The French authorities have been working with the Jewish organizations to fight against it. We have been providing protection to synagogues and schools. We have inflicted very heavy penalties by law against any anti-Semitic declarations. We have introduced in the curriculum of our schools a teaching of, about the Shoah. We have organized trips for schoolboys and schoolgirls to Auschwitz. But obviously it was not enough. And maybe we have not done the right things. Maybe we have not done enough. You know, I, it's obvious. So we are stepping up our efforts. As you know, we are increasing the protection of the synagogue, the schools, the Jewish institutions. But let's be frank. First, how could you imagine a community living under the protection of the army and the police? It's unbearable. It's unsustainable. It's unacceptable. But we have to do it. And secondly, we can't protect everybody everywhere. You know, really, it's, it's in human terms, it's, it's impossible. So, I think what we have to do right now, and it has been declared by the, the minister, the prime minister, is that we have to consider that we are at war. You know, the first line of democracy is the journalist and the Jews. When you attack democracy, when you attack enlightenment, when you attack pluralism, unfortunately the first victims are most very often are journalists and Jews. It's exactly what happened in Paris. So we are at war. We are at war against terrorism. We are at war against radical Islam. We have to be aware of it. It will be a long fight. It's not a French one. What happened in Paris could have happened all over Europe. You know, you, remember, you know the head of the MI5, of the British MI5, 
you know, said 20, 48 hours ago, said an attack in London is highly likely. So that's a risk, a danger that we are all facing. It's a global threat that we have to fight together. And that when I had the honor of receiving President Obama in the French Embassy, it's exactly what the President said. First, saying we are facing the same threat and we have to fight it together. Again, I want to assure you on a personal basis, but it's not very important, but on, the basis, on, the, on behalf of my authorities, on behalf also of the French citizens who have shown their commitment in the streets of Paris, that we are determined to defend the soul of our country, as, I was, as was said, because the soul of our country, which is at stake, we want the Jews of France to remain in France if they want. To, to, make, your, to make the idea to go to Israel is pretty legitimate. But to do it because you are obliged to do it, that would be a shame for my country. So we need your support. We need the help, the support of the United States. We need the help and the support of the Western and all the democracies in the world. We are only on the forefront. We are on the forefront because of our geography. We are on the forefront because we have the first Jewish community and the first Muslim community in Europe. So again, I, I want to say all my apologies, you know, really. Uh, we failed. The French authorities, we could have, we should have done better. That's exactly what the Prime Minister said today to the National Assembly. So thank you very, very much to have given.